I, I've been very lucky with my hair, <laughs> so I thought they, I always wanted to have a look like this. <laughs> like with, <laughs> so I just went into my room and went, eh, 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 and it looks pretty good actually. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I really think, you know, probably there's a lot of people that are gonna criticize what I say, but, um, you know, the first time I did it 20 something years ago, it was because I really believe if I can make a full hour of myself, and make people relax, it's a good thing. You know, when we come, we have enough pressure when we come to the meet that I think it's important just to be relaxed. But I, I, I told the kids, and I've, I've told some of my swimmers that, you know, I don't see myself like this. And I'm not the most confident person, but I'm a confident person. And when I walk on the pool deck, I don't, believe it. Uh, I don't care what people think of me, you know? Uh, and I want them to understand that Swimming fast is an expression of yourself. So when you step on the blocks, it doesn't matter. You just express yourself, you know, and, and be you, who you are. To me, it's like, hey, it's funny, I do it, I don't care. My wife puts up with it, <laughs> and we keep moving forward. Yeah, I think uh, meditation for me, or trying to understand the energy that you have, is very important. And it started a long time ago uh, when I was an athlete and I had a motorcycle accident. And it's a long story, but, uh, and I learned without nobody teaching me how to understand myself and, and do certain things. And for almost two months that I couldn't swim, you know, and I broke one of my bones and the doctor said that I couldn't do anything. I came back and with two weeks of training, I broke the national record by three seconds and was top 10 in the world. So then I realized that the mind is very important. So since I've been a coach, I've been trying to teach them. We do a lot of meditation on the water, we do meditation above the water. Uh, I think very important, teaching them how to breathe. Because when, you go, when you're gonna go into a fight, and we get nervous about you know, in an argument, how do we breathe? We breathe through our chest. <laughs> And we're like, oh, I'm gonna beat you up. <sighs> and the same thing when I'm going to the blocks. Oh! And, and, and that's very not positive, you know? If you watch a baby breathe, they breathe through the diaphragm. You know, it's like, they, you cannot see me, but if I try to breathe in, I look like pregnant. You know, and, and that's a very relaxing breathing. You, you know, I teach them how to breathe, how to use different colors to heal themselves or to put themselves on top of the water. And I've been doing this with my swimmer since the, the 90s, you know, like when I start coaching. Like people like Mac Rivers or when I coach uh, people that people might know, Ryan Murphy or Joseph Schooling, and teach them different type of meditations about the water, underwater, and they like it. Also, when you, do, when, you, when you teach them how to meditate and they really understand what they do, because there's so many ways of doing it. As a coach, if you watch them move through the water, it's really neat how you see the perfect stuff. And the perfect stroke comes with imperfections, but it's, it's very neat. <laughs>